How to trim your dog's nails. Pedicures aren't just for pampered pooches. Your dog is descended from wolves, but her nails don't have the chance to wear down as they would in the wild. A regular clipping every three or four weeks will save her from painful ingrown nails and sore paws. You'll need a sturdy table or counter, a towel, dog nail clippers, tissues, styptic powder or cornstarch, and a one inch wide emery board. Optional, a helper, and some dog treats. Step one, check to see if your dog's nails need clipping. You shouldn't hear her nails clicking against a hard floor when she walks. If there's clicking, it's time for a clipping. Step two, your dog probably won't enjoy this procedure, so she's likely to require some form of restraint. Hold her in your lap or spread a towel on a sturdy table or counter and place the dog on top. Stand on the side of the table opposite the nails you'll be trimming and lean over her so you can hold her down with your body if necessary. If your dog is large or very wriggly, it may help to have a second person hold her while you do the clipping. Step three, holding one paw gently but firmly, clip the tip of the nail. Clip from underneath, holding the clippers at a slight angle and keeping with the curve of the nail. Step four, be careful to avoid the blood vessels and nerves that run through a dog's nail, called the quick. If you cut into the quick, it will cause pain and bleeding. If your dog's nail is white, you can see the pinkish quick, so it's easy to avoid. If your dog has black nails, snip a little bit at a time until, when looking at the nail in the cross section, you can see a darker dot in the middle. Step five, if you cut into the quick, place a tissue over the nail and apply pressure until it stops bleeding, or try dipping the nail into styptic powder or cornstarch. It's unlikely that the bleeding will continue for longer than five to seven minutes, but if it does, or the blood is spurting, call your vet. Step six, don't forget to trim the dew claws located slightly behind the paw on the inner part of the leg. Some breeds have more than one pair on their hind legs. Step seven, if your dog still has some patience left, it's a good idea to use an emery board to lightly file the nails smooth. Step eight, praise your dog lavishly before you let her go. That way she'll come to associate these beauty treatments with extra attention from her owner. Did you know many companies now sell doggy nail polish? It's safe for pet nails, requires only one coat, and dries quickly to keep squirmy dogs from smearing it on the furniture.